do one, two, three. Honey, you gotta go in. Hello, wonderful people. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today I'm bringing a new fragrance video. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of fragrances, okay? This, this is gonna be a long one. I'm not gonna lie. Like I have a basket, look at this guys. Oh my God, I have a basket full of fragrances that I think are just hot girl summer worthy. Like if you're looking for a fragrance that is fresh, clean, yet elegant, sophisticated, maybe a little bit sexy, this is the video for you. I'm gonna be going through a ton of fragrances that I think are just great for summer time. And I'm not just talking any summertime, I'm talking those hot, hot, hot days. These are perfect. You're going to the beach, you're going to be out on a patio, maybe you're on vacation. I think this is stunning, stunning. But mind you, I will have a video on like my fragrances for vacation vibes, but this is hot girl summer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Karina Waldron and I would absolutely love it if you subscribe become a part of our wonderful family and turn your post notifications on so you know every single time I upload a brand new video. But before I start talking about these wonderful fragrances, I do wanna say that we have a giveaway in this one, all right, for all of my amazing, amazing supporters. I absolutely love you guys for just the comments, the likes, the shares, the DMs on Instagram. Honestly, it never ever goes unnoticed. You guys make it possible for me to do what I love to do, which is create content. I did order a Tom Ford Lost Cherry set, which comes with a travel size of the fragrance. So I will be giving that away to a lucky winner. Yes, you too will get to experience Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which I think everyone should have. It is that Good. So I will go ahead and link down below all of the rules to enter the giveaway. It's going to be very simple. Same as all of my other giveaways, really. You have to be a subscriber, follow me on Instagram, and also anything else I will leave down below. So definitely check the description box. But yeah, you will get a Tom Ford Lost Cherry fragrance. So good luck. I'm really trying not to repeat my fragrances on every single video, but it can be a little bit hard because a ton of fragrances can be perfect for so many different occasions, right? But um, I did go ahead and go through my entire collection and picked out a ton of scents that are just perfect for that hot girl summer. And I'm just gonna go through them and tell you guys why I love them. Starting with, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start with Burberry for her. This is, I believe, the intense version if I'm not mistaken, and I love this scent. It's definitely one that I haven't talked about in a little while, but I still love it. It reminds me of BR540. If you haven't seen my video on the dupes, this is in it. I will link it down below or over here on the screen for you guys. Get you Burberry Her Intense. I believe this is the intense version. And it does have very, very similar vibes to that one. I just wanna say that this, you can definitely overspray to get more wear out of it throughout the entire day. But this is just a beautiful kind of fruity floral. Mmm, it's so fresh and light, feminine, has a little sweetness, a little bit more character, and it just smells so, so good. You can't go wrong with this. It's definitely one that will get you a ton of compliments. It's very crowd-pleasing, and overall, I just think it's a beautiful alternative to a very, very expensive fragrance and still smells pretty incredible. The nose behind it is Mr. Francis Kirk de Jean himself. So definitely his DNA is in this scent. Let's move on to the next fragrance. This is Mugler. Okay. Where are all of my Mugler fans? This is Angel El Cruiser. I think it's yeah, that's the one. It is an EDT, but when I tell you this is pretty potent, I am not kidding you. This is giving you tropical vibes in a bottle. It is so beautiful. I think it is absolutely gorgeous for summertime. You really can't go wrong. 
Oh man, like it's like a burst of like fruity notes with a little spice in there also. It's definitely different from the original Angel I find. I don't think that I see too much of its DNA. This is a whole nother fragrance in itself. It has this very tropical, very addictive vibe to it. Like the more you wear it, you want to keep spraying this on yourself. It is so gorgeous. It's a little sweet also. Mm, it just sits on the skin beautifully. It's very, very like a yummy, juicy kind of scent, a little creamy also. So definitely get you this one. It's beautiful. I know that they just came out with a newer flanker. I haven't tried out myself. Definitely want to get my hands on it, but this is a must for summertime. If you're going on vacation, a tropical vacation, I think this is a beautiful, beautiful scent to have. Had to mention this one. It was my go-to summer scent last year and I haven't worn it in a really long time. And when I went through my collection, I'm like, what? I need to, I need to pull this one out. And this is Alien El Extraordinaire. This is an EDT version of Alien. And this is just a very bright, fresh, sparkling um, Alien, okay? It's so beautiful. You definitely get the Alien DNA in the scent, but it's just taken, it's gone from like very warm to a more bright, sparkly scent. And it's just like, a burst of fresh air in a bottle, but with a little bit more character. I love it. Not the most long lasting, so I definitely over, over, over spray with this one, but I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful take on Alien for summertime vibes. It's so stunning. And if you spray it on your clothes, it's definitely, definitely going to last a lot longer than spraying it on your skin. But um, I think the Aliens are really beautiful. I definitely love the flankers over for the original now. Like the original one, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it in my collection because I haven't even picked up that bottle in so long. And then when I do go and smell it, I'm like, it's just okay to me. But the flankers, I really, really love. So if you like something very floral and elegant and fresh, you are going to be obsessed with Chanel Chance Autant. This is a beautiful, elegant floral scent. It's definitely that fresh floral kind of fragrance. Um, it has a little bit of spiciness to it. It's a very like fresh, clean, watery type of scent. Very elegant and super, super casual. So you can wear this every single single day. It really doesn't matter, but there's something just special about this fragrance that really captivates me. And it is a scent that gets me so many compliments. Like my hubby loves this one on me. And I'm just noticing that when I wear fresh floral scents, I get a lot of compliments. And this is one of them over here. You guys can see how much I've used of this bottle. Like there, <laughs> it's a lot missing. Oh yeah, the opening is bright. It's definitely citrusy. But you will get these like floral notes kind of pulling through right away. It's gentle, it's feminine. When I close my eyes and I smell the scent in the dry down, I think of the color pink because it just has this very like girly, gentle vibe to it. It is so beautiful. Like you really can't go wrong unless you hate your fresh floral scents. But if you love it, this is a gorgeous one that will definitely get you compliments. It is an EDT, so not super long lasting, but just over spray and also um, take a little sample with you or travel size with you in your bag and top it up. But honestly, with these kind of fresh scents that are like more on the citrusy side, on the fresh floral side, that don't have a lot of heavier notes to them, you have to over spray. Do not be scared to spray this scent, okay? These type of scents. Don't just do one, two, three. Honey, you gotta go in with these type of scents if you want it to project, if you want it to leave a trail, if you want it to last long, you can't be scared to spray your phrase. So let's talk about something a little bit more sweet. This is a little bit, it's a lot sweet, but if you love your sweet floral fragrances, you're gonna love this one. And that is Mistyor Absolutely Blooming. This is just, 
It's very girly, okay? I will say that. It's very girly. It's crowd-pleasing. It's sweet. It's floral. It reminds me of the summertime when the flowers are blooming and... Oh, it's just... It's sweet. It's girly. It is also fresh and clean, but like the sweetness is more from the floral tones in my opinion. Oh, I love this one. I forgot how much I really enjoy this one because I haven't worn it in such a long time. It almost like lifts up my mood. This is, oh, my phone went out. This is definitely one of those scents that just kind of like, wow, like it puts a smile on my face instantly. Oh yeah, I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, again, I have to say you have to enjoy sweet scents. This is definitely up there in terms of sweet fragrances in my collection, but I think it's so gorgeous. And out of all of the Dior's, like Miss Dior's, except from the original one, this is one of my favorites, the Absolutely Blooming. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. It also pairs really nicely with like a fresh fragrance. Like for example, this one over here from Chanel, you can really layer these and they will go very nicely together. If you wanna kind of cut the sweetness and add a little bit more citrus tones to it, you can do that. But I think it's just a beautiful scent that is just so, it's a little flirty at the same time. And I feel like you can probably pull this off pretty much any time of the day. You can wear this during the day, you can wear it during the evening, date night, brunch, you name it, it's going to flow. And even though it's sweet, to me there is like this added freshness to it that really works well with um, heat. It does work well with heat on me. It doesn't become too cloying or anything like that. You want something a lot more fresh with maybe a little bit more spiciness, something a little bit more unique and still loud, Flora Botanica from Balenciaga, you cannot go wrong with this scent. This is a very fresh rose-like scent that has a bit of a green undertone. Well, a lot of a green undertone. Um, it's sparkly, it's fresh, it's a little citrusy in the opening. Definitely spicy, uh, but like a green spiciness and the rose is quite prominent. But I tell you, that everything just combined together creates magic. Magic. This scent smells lavish, absolutely lavish. Oh my God, I don't have a fragrance that smells like this at all. Mm, okay, the first opening is definitely a lot more green. You are, okay, now that I have more experience with this one, the opening you will get a slight you know, cannabis kind of note, but it's not dirty. Okay. It's not dirty or skanky or anything like that. It just smells quite like fresh and pure. You know what I mean? And, um, it's green, it's spicy. And then the rose notes will start to pull through and you get this very beautiful, elegant, lavish kind of fresh, rosy green scent. It is one of a kind. It's very potent. Like just that spray that I did is like, whoa, it's very, very potent. So I always say don't overspray with this one. I learned the hard way. And I, when I first got this fragrance, I oversprayed it and I was on my way to work when I worked in retail. When I tell you, I felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> For the first hour that I was at work, I am not joking. I sprayed this just before leaving the house because I always spray my fragrances just before leaving the house. And I did quite a lot of sprays. And when I got to work, it took me about half an hour to get to work. The smell was still so strong. While I was driving to work, I had to open the windows and let like my car air out because it was so potent. I kid you not. So don't overspray it, do not, especially if you're gonna be indoors. So the next fragrance is another one that is not super sweet. For those of you who want something a little bit just more elegant, you know, more clean and fresh and very wearable, <sighs> Prada La Femme. I just, I love this scent so much. <laughs> I love this one so much. I talked about it a ton, a ton, a ton of times last year, and I gotta bring it up because it is still one of my favorite summertime fragrances. 
oh my god this is the only scent that i have in my collection that has a very soapy clean vibe but it's done in the most luxurious way i love it and you guys can see that i have quite a big dent on this one it really does smell like clean skin like you just got out the shower you lather yourself in a gorgeous luxurious body cream and you sprayed a little perfume just a little kind of floral perfume and that is the scent in a bottle right here it's so good i really love this one it smells a little bit more lavish more elegant a little elevated it's like not your typical floral fragrance it smells it just smells like clean skin in a bottle oh I love it. I love this one so much. This is definitely a must have. If you don't want the traditional heavy floral, heavy sweet fragrance, you want something that just smells clean and fresh, but with a little bit more creaminess to it. This is the one to get Kaali's Musk 12. This is musk done in the most perfect way. Okay, I cannot do heavy animalic musk scents. Like I cannot, my skin will not accept it. It just comes off super dirty and unpleasant on my skin. This, this will mess, make you wanna try all sorts of musk fragrances, but the way that the Kaali team did this one is just perfection. It smells again like clean skin it's fresh it's airy it's light it's juicy it's musky but like clean skin musky it's so so good there's a slight sweetness to her all oh, the atomizers are just gorgeous with the cali fragrance oh it's so smooth and just so good like you can't say anything bad about musk from Kaali. It just smells good. It's fresh, it's casual, it's airy, it's light, and just smells like your skin is absolutely clean, like fresh and clean and light, like non-offensive again, not overly sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness, but not overly sweet. With musk, you can definitely overspray. I do, um, just to get a little bit more wear out of it, but it is just one of those very like no-brainer type of scents. Um, whatever occasion, you can pull this off and wear it, and it just smells fresh and clean, especially on those really, really hot days where you don't don't want your fragrance to smell heavy and just like oh like it's stuck to your skin this is a really really great option i love it love this one a lot for summertime the next scent that i have is one that i also really really loved last year during the summertime and i had to pull it out and that is dylan blue from versace and i just really like this scent it's a really popular one but for all the right reason this is a very crisp bright um fresh fragrance that is kind of like a mix of fruity floral to me oh i believe there's green apple in here if i'm not mistaken oh yeah mm, oh my gosh i forgot how good this one is it's so bright and kind of mood uplifting it's crispy it's fresh, it's light, it's airy, and it's not sweet. To me, this is not a sweet fragrance. It's just a bright type of scent. Definitely one that gets me quite a bit of compliments also. Oh yeah, and I don't pick up on a ton of like different notes, like I'm not pinpointing all the notes, which I like when fragrances do that, when it's kind of like just blended to perfection. It's just bright and airy and fresh and light. Oh, this one is gorgeous. If you love your like fragrances that can like almost transform your mood and really uplift you and put a smile on your face, this is one to get. If you love a gorgeous like green apple note in your fragrance, this is another one which adds to like that crispiness that the opening has. It's just clean and fresh and airy and light. Like you can't go wrong. This is definitely one that is no brainer. You pick it up, you wear it and you feel great about wearing a delicious fragrance that just like wears beautifully on the skin during the summertime. 
oh, this is one that's quite addictive. Like I just wanna keep sniffing it. Like I literally wanna just spray myself all over. I picked this one out and that is KKW's Body 2. This is very similar to kind of Tom Ford Eau du Soleil Blanc. If you like that fragrance, it's very, very kind of similar vibes. It has that kind of like coconutty vibe, fresh watery coconut, um, a little bit of a sunscreen type of deal with your fragrances, very like summer in a bottle. This is this fragrance over here. And this bottle is so over the top, but guys, I really like it. It's just like, I mean, this is supposed to be her body, her body, her body's nice. Her body's nice. I'm just going to say that. But um, this fragrance is so nice. Like I really, really like it. And I don't have a ton of the KKW fragrances. There are some that people really enjoy, but I really, really liked this one. I did have, I think it was body three and I like this one a lot more. Oh yeah. It reminds me a lot of El de Soleil Blanc. A lot. So if you don't want to splurge on that one and hopefully this is still available, definitely get this one. It's fresh. It's light. It's a little bit of that sunscreen vibe, that coconutty vibe. It's kind of creamy. Also it's slightly feminine. Oh, I like this one. Oh my God. It's, it's like, it's like a creamy sweet in this one. Mmm, that's good. That is good. That is so, so good. Like it really does remind me of Tom Ford Elder Soleil Blanc. It really does. I'm not going to lie. They have a very similar, a very, very similar vibe. So this is KKW Body 2. I like it. Not the most long lasting. I'm not going to lie, but again, over spray and you should be able to get away with it throughout the day or even pop this in your, I don't think you want to pop this in your bag, but at least take a little decant with you. But if you love your very like, um, kind of almost like tropical type of scents, um, kind of coconutty scents, you are going to enjoy this one a whole lot. Next up, I have BDK's Passy Soir. I'm trying not to repeat all of these fragrances that I did in another summer uh, fragrance video, but I had to mention BDK's Passy Soir because this is such a beautiful, fresh, airy, sweet scent that is perfect for summertime. But every time I smell this scent, it reminds me of like a very sweet sparkling champagne. It's bright, it's sweet, it's feminine, it is girly, it's a little flirty also, has a bit of this like sexiness to it. It's just a gorgeous scent that like, you really don't, I don't, like I don't see what people would complain about this scent. It's one of those very, very safe kind of blind buys to me, um, unless you don't go for sweet fragrances. But if you do, it's a very safe blind buy from BDK. It's one of my favorites from the line. I have tried quite a few. It is definitely one of my favorites and it just, it's great. It's great all year round. Like this can easily be a signature scent because it is quite crowd pleasing, but it also wears so nicely during the summertime. It is honestly a sparkling sweet champagne. This is what it smells like to me. It's so gorgeous. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely talked about a lot of scents. I know this one is going to be so long to edit and to watch. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. And, um, yeah, I wanted to give you guys options, a lot of different options. So I will be linking all of the fragrances down below in the description box. So check it out there. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to chat with you guys. Leave your comments down below. I want to know what are your favorite go-to hot girl summer fragrances? I'm talking heat. Okay. Heat. I want to know vacation vibes. I want to know comment down below and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao.